Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to this week's episode of Creative Corner. Uh, we're going to be practicing a little bit of magic in time for Halloween this upcoming uh, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, this upcoming Sunday. Um, so before we get started, let's go over some of the materials you'll need. If you are interested in doing this at home, we do have some supply kits available. In your supply kit, you'll receive our instructions um, with everything you'll need. Plus this uh, little tiny doll's head. And then of course, a succulent plant. Um, if you would like to, I also do have some soil. Uh, you'll need a pair of scissors to do this. Um, I don't want to get dirt underneath my fingernails, so I have a pair of gloves too as well. It's really up to you how you would like to do this. And then on this piece of paper, there's also some other examples of some dead head planters you can also do. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, everyone. So for this first part, we're going to practice a little bit of necromancy. Uh, so if you I don't want to use this doll's head that's provided in the supply kits, you can always recycle some other doll's heads. Just uh, cut it off at the neck and then you'll just use the head part like I mentioned. Um, but we're going to cut off a section of the head of the cranium using a pair of scissors. And I am going to guesstimate where I would like our incision to be. Now that we've prepped our patient and cut the cranium off, um, like I said, we're practicing some dark magic here. Uh, <laughs> uh, so once you have that done, I'm going to add a little bit of soil and this is going to be our green witch part. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of soil to the bottom and there is a hole um, on the bottom of the doll's head that is going to act as a drainage system for the water so that way we don't overwater our plants and i'm just adding a little bit at a time stuffing the soil into the nooks and crannies inside the, the head itself and like i said you can um use any type of doll's heads that you're not doll's head you're not using But you gotta stuff, 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 stuff. Use our green thumb to make this happen. And now that we have the soil in there, and it's okay if you make a mess too as well. You gotta carefully get your plants. Remove the old soil. Try to keep the roots intact. I'm just using my fingers to crumble up the old dirt. Because you want to make sure that your plant is well oxen oxygenated. It's receiving plenty of oxygen. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more soil to the bottom. Like I said, we're practicing both two opposing type of uh, magic techniques. Practice a little necromancy with the doll's head and with a little bit of green, which green thumb. We're going to carefully add our plants to the head.
trying to pack in some of the soil, as much soil as possible, so that way your plant isn't shifting around, moving around a whole lot. And again, hitting it just a tad bit, getting rid of most of the soil. And if you would like to, you can always get a small paintbrush, brush off any of the excess soil from their face, from inside the plant. Um, I can see that there's a little bit of extra soil. Let me see if I can do a top view. Um, a little bit of the old soil left in between the little leaves of the, uh, of the plant itself. But, um, it is a little top heavy. So we may or may not need to have, um, some kind of plates, um, you can always try to put it back into the, the pots and get rid of most of the soil that's in here. Just go ahead and add more. Get, add a little bit of a hole. Nest our little doll's head. Um, in the soil. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then if you wanted to, um, depending on what kind of size your doll's head is, um, you can always color in the eyes um, if you would like to. Um, make it milky white or black as a night. But I think we're gonna go ahead and call it our day. So we worked on two different types of magic. We did a little bit of necromancy with the doll's head, cutting it open, uh, making sure that, uh, <laughs> that um, we have the doll's head uh, ready for the plant. We took out uh, the plant, well, we used some uh, healing plants, um, green magic to take the plant out of its current home. Um, Got rid of the old soil, um, stuffed new soil into the head, added the plants, and then added some new soil to the actual uh, plastic container that we have here. And then you want to make sure um, to water it. And succulents are really, really good at not requiring a whole lot of water. Um, and so you can research what type of plants you have and then water accordingly. Um, I'll probably water it every three to four days. That might be too frequent, might not be too frequent. Like I said, do your research on what kind of succulent plants you have. Thank you for joining me on today's Creative Corner session. We worked with two opposing uh, styles of magic. We did some necromancy to revive a doll's head, sliced it open, and then we <laughs> filled it with soil. And then on the opposite side, we used some green witchcrafts, some herbalism, using your green thumb, uh, taking our succulent plant from its current pots, uh, removing the old soil, adding some new soil, and then putting it into the doll's head so that way it can thrive in its new environment. Uh, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to our social media. We have everything um, and all the platforms are available on the homepage of our website, which I'll put the link in the video description below. Um, on that note, I also do have some supply kits available, which includes the doll's head as well as one succulent. So that way you can do this at home. Um, and it's also available on the homepage of our website. I'll put the list of materials in the video description too as well. My name is Joshua. Thank you for joining me this afternoon and I shall see you next time. Mm -hmm.